Wow, it's Elden Ring. I have to change the thing for it to say Elden Ring. Start streaming, because I started recording before I started streaming. Oh, it's starting, it's starting, it's starting. Let's go. It's begun. It's Elden Ring, baby. Don't even question whether or not it is Elden Ring, because it is most certainly Elden Ring. Come on. <laughs> Please. There we go. Uh, every time I open Elden Ring, Firefox starts lagging. <laughs> okay. And I need to go to the NPCs in order just to see what I'm doing right now. Now we are going to enjoy Bard's company whilst we are going to enjoy enjoy Bard's company during the stream. Hello, Bard. Hello. Hello. Well, it's kind of you to speak stuck to the level of just falling and asleep and waking up. So yeah. I don't know if she walked around a bit. I think I've walked away from most of them. No, 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 no. Yeah. I think I got rid of most of the sleep out of me. That's good. I know. You don't have to play if you don't want to. I want to. That's or if why you're I too tired. Up, so like, nah, okay. We're only going to play until 9 because I want to draw after 9. Okay. I had to. <laughs> I had a fiasco today where I was, uh, what I wanted to do was replace the cabin air filter in my car. So I drove to a place to replace the cabin air filter, and that was only the second thing I had done with the car that day. Wait, third thing I had done with the car that day, like, repair thing. And, uh, <laughs> I go to... And, like car parts place to get the cabin air filter but all I say is air filter and apparently when you just say air filter they assume you mean engine air filter oh yeah so I got an engine air filter and I looked at it when I got home and I was like this is not the same shape as the cabin air filter so then I went to a different place to get a uh, cabin air filter and that one fit and then I had to drive all the way back to the other place to get rid of the Normal air filter, so that took up like an hour of time for something that should have taken like 15 minutes. Yeah, that sucks. Always a joy to go to the boss list. Hooray! Hooray! Yas! Well, we meet again. Well, well, well. Look who came crawling back. <laughs> it's because you broke my legs! Oh, my legs are fucking busted, man. I'm trying to figure out where all the fucking caves in this level are. Most of them aren't marked, so I can't remember it very well. Mm. Yeah. Like, I know for 100% certain that this is not, that I have not done most of them. I'm completely confident in that, because I'm looking at the list and there's a lot of them on there. Um... Is that going to be better? Am I silly? Am I being a silly billy about the Sinark Rio? Are you oh, a silly billy boy? Yeah, I've been fighting on that build for like weeks now. Yeah. I wrote down a bunch of weapons I want to get, because uh, I want to have a damage type to suit many occasions. Yeah. Ok, 
Okay, I'm gonna fight the Air Tree Avatar. Is Holy Damage weak against the Air Tree Avatar? Maybe. I know fire is strong, but I was thinking about infusing my, like, putting on the holy weapon buff thing, so... Technically it's just an increase in damage, and it's not like they are um, completely immune to damage. So it's like, they will take more, or they will take damage, but not as much? But I don't know if it converts a portion, or if it... You mean as much extra? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Like, I'm, I'm not sure if when you use that spell that it converts some of your damage into holy, or if it will add that on top. Yeah, I don't okay. know either. They are weak against fire and strike, they are strong versus holy and hemorrhage. Immune to hemorrhage. Strong versus holy. So if you've got lightning damage or something like that, it might be better. But, yeah. I don't have a uh, flame grant me strength equipped for some reason. <laughs> Flame, grant me sucker. Okay, buddy, let's tank it. Oh, that's pretty good damage. We can show the Magia. What? No. Fuck. Oh no, I got trapped in a bunch of fucking trees. This game is so well designed. I think so hard about all the boss arenas in this game. I can't okay, see so literally anything because of the trees. There's a bunch of random ass enemies attacking me in the middle of me trying to do a fucking boss fight. I'm losing my shit. There I got the boss coming for me. Shit. Now I need to fight the boss. Oh, I hate when that happens. <laughs> Will they be so dumb? Jesus. This game's timing is like when I actually try to dodge really mess me up. Jeez, I didn't hit me! Elden Ring that did not touch me! Oh wow, Dark Souls 2 is such bad uh, hitboxes, I can't. I'm so glad they improved on it in future games. <laughs> I'm not even a little bit mad. I'm very happy. And I am nothing. very calm. I am so fucking calm right now. Yeah, it does no bonus damage at all. When I. Um, I think my Elden Juice. I really hate the Elden Stars attack these guys have. It's really fucking um, annoying. It's just like a bunch of shitty missiles. This, this game, dude! This game! I'm losing my goddamn gourd. Is lost. My gourd is lost. Help me find my gourd. Can you believe it? The reason I died is that I ran into a rock and something hit me. Ugh. I really, I really, truly do not like how uh, this game just gave up on the boss arenas being good. Especially all the archery ones suck. Yeah, it's just because they're so, like, they're, they're just really confusingly made because they're, like, full of pots and trees and rocks, so you can't navigate very well, you know? Yeah. Okay. Point in the clipping. I 
Gene point in equipping the thing I have equipped, which is the Holy Blade thing. Somehow the attacks in this game both manage to be extremely slow and so fast I cannot dodge them. <laughs> I know! This- okay, I've figured out what the problem is. It's because the enemy will, like, slowly pretend you're about to attack you, and then the decision- the last minute decision they have is like, No, I don't know! Instead of, like, finish off the, with yeah. the speed of- Yeah, I don't know, it's weird because I can dodge Sir Alon, who is objectively much faster a lot of the time. But the guys in this are just like, they're so weird in their speed that I'm like, fucking, I don't know, how do you play this game? Did you do that right on top of me? I don't like attacks in most games that, like, require you to stop attacking the boss for a while. Like, it's break time for the boss. That boss is hard, though, I'm just bitching. Okay. Which air does it smile? Air tree avatar is done. Did we do Omen Killer? We yeah, did, yeah, right? We did. I'll go check, because I don't I need to cross them off on my list. I'm going to try to play this game in a more intelligent manner, if you can believe it. I feel like I should do that, but <laughs> it's a big ask for me. Yeah. I was just thinking, like, I could have, like, a weapon for different situations rather than using the same weapon all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I killed the Omen Killer. Okay. Get Omen killed, buddy. What was that? <laughs> What was that? <laughs> Come on, Google Docs. Oh. Google Docs is just being extremely slow for some reason. Uh, where are all the bosses in this area? My boss list is really long, but I'm like, where the fuck are any of these guys? Um... I suppose I could go do Loretta. Who's weak to lightning? Let's go look up lightning ashes of horror. Oh, Firefox is struggling. I'm trying to... I think the problem might be that... Oh, lightning slash, this should work. Oh, no, it's from Landell. Uh... You need to find something lightning that... Oh. Doesn't... Oh, what in the good goddamn... I guess I can check my inventory to see if I have anything lightning in it. I think the fucking groblins are full of disease and they've given me some kind of affliction. Yeah, that would not surprise me. I think it's me. actually... Mum's been working with people that have like been working with COVID for the last like, week and a half, so that's where it's come from. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't have anything lightning. Uh... See, I really want to exploit, like, these en the enemy's weaknesses and stuff like that, but I don't... Yeah. I simply do not have the kit. So 
one is a fully weapon. What's that? Rikard, Lord of Blasphemy. Damn, it's fucked up like that. Lakeside Crystal Cave. Yeah. Oh, I think I've got that. Uh, hmm. yeah. What should I do? <laughs> what to do? What do I do, Lord? Make you do? Oh. Uh, Revo, Lord of Trees. Parian mm. Manor up in the hill. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get the first bonfire inside the area and meet you there. Yeah. Okay, the turtle's still there. That's good news. Wait, I forgot to get rid of the thing I have on me. Spear Talisman exists. Oh, I don't have Flame Grammy Strength. What do you need? Flame Grammy Strength? Yeah, that's in uh, Gale. I know where it Not is. I was just surprised that I don't have it. I'm gonna go get it. Yeah. Um, Castle, yeah. Um, I guess, if I didn't get it, I'm pretty sure it's because I'm gonna save getting it until I go to Kaelid, so I guess we're not getting it. Yeah, we're also gonna get the Blasphemous Blade from uh, the big man. Yeah. Praetor Record. Yeah. Uh, uh. Oh, me ma sent me a sneaky chat here. Sneaky chat? Don't use what this exit's supposed to buy. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I got to the door. I'm gonna put my son down just inside, okay? What? Ah, oh, yes. Oh, sorry. Wait, no, I'll put my side down, sorry. Have you already done it? Yeah. Okay. I'll use the uh, multiplayer item. <laughs> it's multiplayer item. Yeah. It really sucks because I want to like play this game in a way that feels complete to me, but killing all the enemies is like a complete waste of time and also a huge hassle. So I feel like I shouldn't. What was that, sir? Uh, What's a waste of time? I want to play the game in a way that feels complete to me, but killing all the enemies feels like a complete waste of time. Oh, especially here, I have no idea. Uh, isn't there a store that you need from here, though? Oh, sort of land flying? Yeah. Yeah. There's two big guys on the left side. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh god. We can just... Got these guys are the worst. I remember seeing these guys and being like, the fuck kind of video game is this, you know? Yeah, why are fucking hand on my ass? I did not come to Elden Ring to get groped, but I guess this is just the society we live in. Yeah. Okay. You don't choose this life. This life chose me. That's over That's here. A Wait, we met a Kate to get down. Fun fact. Oh god, <laughs> there's a big man coming for me. Fun fact, there's a big man. Uh... So the fun fact I was thinking is that... The, um... What are you thinking? <laughs> um... The Loretta Knight is one of the first bosses I attempted in this game. Oh? Because when I was... I don't really like fighting the bosses. And the first time I was playing this game, the bosses were not fun, but the areas were. So, like, I liked exploring. That's one of the nice things about 
uh, Breath of the Wild that's like exploration based more so than combat based because I don't like this game's combat that much. I think you can parry a ghost. Oh, invader. Invader? Yeah. Roadie. Roadie's nuts, dude. When we get the fun player. Row, row, row your boat, dude. Okay, I'm going to the mom fire. Ow! <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm leaving you to your death. Ah, uh, since he's fucking running after me. I've got the oh, true. Ah, he's not even touching me on my screen. This guy's got the godskin peeler. He's so peeling me. Apparently he's trying oh. to godskin peel you. Yeah. <laughs> Combat in this game just isn't very satisfying he's because... The same aerial attacks, I reckon. Yeah, he just keeps doing jump attacks. They don't hit, but mine don't hit either. Like, we haven't hit each other at all. Okay, he's doing the big flame attack for some reason. Buddy, this is... Is the, like, ping speed or whatever it is is bad enough that I can't hit him and he can't hit me either? Yeah. Okay, he's gotten me. Got me a hit there. We keep just like rolling past each other and not hitting each other. Yeah, you got me a hit there. That did not touch me, but whatever. Yeah. Man. I don't. I don't like that PvP is like a necessary part of this game. Well, I mean, it's not necessary. You can turn the game offline, but I don't like doing it. But I like co-op. So, there's that. And it makes me really sad that uh, all my progress, I suppose, on getting viewers on Twitch has gone for naught. Because if I stopped streaming for long enough, or didn't stream as often for long enough, it's just completely gone. I don't know how the rankings work on Twitch with, like, how they recommend streams, but I don't think mine gets recommended very much. Not that I'm a very entertaining streamer, which is primarily just because streaming is not, like, a huge point of... Uh, it's not a huge point of, like, interest for me. It's not a big area that I'm... Like, I'm not trying to make money streaming anyway. I like streaming because I like the friends that I've made doing it, mostly. Like, meeting Phantom was an absolute treat, you know? Yeah. I think the place you drop down onto the... Yes, this way. Thing is somewhere here. That's definitely a... Okay, there it is. I can see green <laughs> you, you. What sort of blood sickness did the children give you? Uh. Oh, potatoes? No, it's like a headache and now a sore throat that's growing on me. The weasel mumps, I assume. What? Is the weasel yeah, mumps. <laughs> <laughs> It's like when people say, uh, okay, so you know when you, you get like a... Something makes your skin tingle and at least bump in your skin, what do you call that? Goosebumps. Yes. See, that is what I also call it. Some people call it chicken skin, and that is Chicken strange. skin? I mean, it's the same thing, but also like, why'd you do that? Or goose flesh. Oh, I call it goose flesh when I'm writing fantasy because it sounds more like a fantasy-y. <laughs> That makes more sense, but like... 
I don't know. Ah, yes. This song is so good. It gives me goose flesh. <laughs> that is really funny. Like, are you serious right now? <laughs> are you I being? You be like your are you I being serious? Be Sorry, I didn't see it was on the other rooftop. Oh, I think I'm gonna level enough that I can use the uh, sort of night and climb. It doesn't have like extremely high stat requirements. Though they be high, not extremely. Why are you fighting another huge hand monster? When I'm a pirate and somebody asks me what my friend is doing that has been taking drugs recently, yarr, they be high. <laughs> so true. Is there another way? Can you get back up? Uh, no, I was just checking. Okay, that's why I was down there, killing all the hand monsters. You just have to walk back up. It is funny how much I suck at PvP in this game, but at least I tried. Eh, PvP in this one isn't that great. Lady Rani, we have long awaited you. I pray for your house's swift revival. May the full moon shine upon Karyo. I know it's like part of the theme of these games broadly, but it's funny to me that every time you go into a Dark Souls game, the world is just completely gone to shit. Yeah. Like, nobody has their shit together. No one's games. ever having a good time in this place. Yeah. What the hell? Like, that's why, for the game me and Bard were thinking about designing, one of the interesting points was like, the idea that you can, like, do all these boss fights and stuff, but the world is, like, not in a state of decay. It's just the way it is. Like, the world is magical without having to fall apart first. Uh, this game is so fucking laggy. You hit that guy and he like staggered like 10 seconds later. Ow. Get away from my fire. You can fire your ghost. How's ass? Apparently, ghosts drop items too. Just like in real life. Yeah. And try it. Did <laughs> you drop the deed to a house or. Yeah. Or like the curse of their seventh child or some such. Or like tetanus. <laughs> Ugh, many such items. Many such items. Many riches. Yeah. When I think about tetanus, I think that's riches. I don't know about you, but that's riches to me. Big dog. The fact that the big dogs in this game are enemies is so sad. It is. I want to be friends with the big dog. I'm not gonna bother the big dog. The other one wants our attention. We'll the other one us. has decided it wants to be bothered. These guys also so, do not suit my like way of fighting very well. Are you fighting with the Cestus? No, this is a stabby stick. Okay. I, all I could see was like a ball where your hand was, but I assume it's just what your arm oh, looks like. It's, um, it's the frozen needle. It's kind of like a little bit translucent when I stab things. Uh. It's a very thin ice stick, basically. Oh. Are these dogs have so much HP? Holy shit. Yeah, like over 2,500. <gasps> oh god. Oh, I gotta eat butter menthols again, hell yeah. Have we eaten? I was thinking about the fact that, uh, I'm trying to look at the bright side of potentially contracting the disease. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, a throat lozenger that we have called butter menthol. But, um, I'm not sure if even, like, a thing that's around the country. Uh, there used to be an advertisement for them on TV where they, the, they had this, like, really big scarf. And it's like, I always wanted that. Never had a scarf in my life. Really? 
Well, I guess you don't have a reason to have one when you live in the worm zone. I only have one scarf, and it's an orange length of cloth. <laughs> it's not yeah. fancy in any way. Uh, but when it's cold, you wrap it around your face so that you keep your own face warm by breathing. Yeah. Um, and I didn't realize that that's what scarves were for. I didn't actually realize they had like an actual purpose. I thought they were just for fashion until I realized, oh, you wrap them around your face. It also keeps your neck, keeps the wind off your neck. Yeah, but your your uh, the amount of neck wind is not a huge concern <laughs> compared to your face. Oh, that's so true. Neck wind. It's not the lag so bad, holy shit. Um, Two potions. Ready to go in for... Yeah. Maybe? Oh yeah, there's a door over here. Oh, that goes, uh, like the back rooms. Okay. It's a bunch of drop downs to, like, pick up some items. I'm not sure if there's actually anything useful in there. Yeah. We could kill Loretta and then you can go have a look because there's yeah. a bonfire after her. I understand. Okay, now it's Loretta time. The boss that I am really excellent at. I sure, I'm sure we can all do it. Oh, I forgot, I forgot how to. I forgot, please, I forgot how to one hand. How is it? Rock. Give her a bit of a bit of a butt touch. Oh, and she probably went for you. She went for you. I think Loretta is the best horse-based boss. Okay, I forgot yeah. to I forgot to drink the flask of wonders does it. I think Loretta is the best horse-based boss. She's pretty uh oh, yeah. The other ones yeah, are kinda of uh, weird. I don't know what makes them weird, but they're definitely a bunch of weirdos. It feels like the Knight's Cavalry was supposed to be an enemy that they like, realized this enemy is too strong, we'll make it do a boss. And then they're like, well, if it's already a boss, we gotta, we'll give it the ability to resummon its horse. That's why it does that. Yeah, I don't think it resummoning its horse is necessarily a bad thing, but I wish it was like... Like when we resummon our horses in this game, where it's like there's a consequence to doing it, as well as a benefit. Yeah. Or just like a massive delay that you can interrupt. Yeah. I'm burning the button to crouch. There we go. Like I'm changing armor mid walk. Oh, are you not going? There you go. I was like, why is he still here? <laughs> okay, we're in a level uh, base and the other thing to 24, so I can use the whatever it's called, sort of knife blind. Haven't used it before, could be pretty cool. I have a lot of fucking leveling to do though. <laughs> Yikes. Leveling vigor uh, is beneficial for my health, but not good for my weapon choices. <laughs> mm -hmm. I felt that. Three sisters. Seven sisters. Shining up there. Yeah. Can I summon you for uh, Windstone Dragon Adula? Uh, not sure. Can you put your sign know, down? Can you put your That's sign down? I mean, like, yeah. in the area? Surely it would work, wouldn't it? I suppose you don't kill it though. Surely. I mean, you don't, but it's still difficult to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tough. Why someone inside just outside? Just outside the, just outside the uh, exit from Loretta. Yeah. Okay. Me and a deer are hanging out. <laughs> oh, he ran away. <laughs> Very far. Yeah, it looks like you can upgrade this. 
Thank God, I can't do anything without my man. Oh God. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It just like me for real. You are perfectly competent with that. Nah, you say that, but I'm always going feral, feral, feral. <laughs> You're always getting the scissors out. I sit there and go, what's the point of life? <laughs> Every time you talk to someone who isn't me, you're like, you're not my husband. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? What's the point of you? Sorry, I was just... My water bottle, like, spewed out water at me for no reason. I love when it does that. You just open the lid and it's like, ah, kill. Yeah, for some reason, it does it with high humidity, it seems like. <laughs> Changes the density of the air. Simply get better density, bro. I imagine that. <laughs> really? Do you imagine that? You like the movie? <laughs> okay, Glintstone Dragon Adila. Give me what for? Gotta hit that dragon. I think the heads of the dragons uh, in Elden Ring are harder to hit than the heads of the dragons in Dark Souls. And that is the point, right? To hit their heads, so... That is a bad attack. With the way the bosses are in this game, I would expect them to be designed so that they don't move that much, but instead they're like designed to move as much as possible, even though they fade out when they move too far. Okay. And fire breath. Oh god. It's stuck in a fucking rock and nearly died. Great. Oh. Impossible range design is so good in this game. Whoa, buddy! That's. That's a really cool attack. Trying to dodge it is yeah, one hell of a time. Would you believe this ability has no idea? What does? Oh. Cool. Okay, yeah, we got him. Hog champ? Looks like you're not leaving. <laughs> Staying with me, buddy. Yeah. I'm gonna come sure with me to see Rani, I suppose. I don't know if you could actually come all the way to see Rani. Doggy? I'm sorry. I do not want to kill the doggies. You know what I noticed? Mm -hmm. If you look at the family tree of uh, the Elden Ring gods like Radagon, uh, America, Godfrey, yeah. um, what's the lady's name? Mother? America? No, with the black hair. Renala? Renala. All of them have, uh, of them, they have eight children. Six of which are boys and two of which are girls. Well, I guess, actually, the statistic has changed because America also had Mesmer. So, seven of which are boys, two of which are girls. Oh. Again we cross paths. I believe you said my name was Rena. <laughs> it just jumped right on top. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? It just tumbled off of her. <laughs> I see. Ah, oh, tarnished. Sleuth, Your boyfriend did dumb shit. Indeed, oh my God. I am the witch, Rani. I stole a fragment of the rune of death and used it to forge the god slain black knives through fearsome right. I did it all. Oh, Invaded by recusant friendly, friendly invader. <laughs> the curse mark thou seekest is not to be found here. I have slain the body I was born into and cast it away. And it is upon that flesh the curse mark is carved. 
Where did the body go? Reveal that to thee. I performed the act not to bury the past, nor in shame of the deed, but all the same. Thy begging compels me not a jot. The curse mark thou seekest is not here. Let me go find friendly invader. That is all I will say. Okay. Now, be gone. How do you get uh, Ronnie to talk to you? Um, you keep spamming it, I think. She keep should just let you it. in. She just said, now be gone to me. Oh. The curse mark now. Have you been talking to what's her face too much? The curse now. What, what do you mean, what's her face? Fear. Have you done a Fear's quest line? No. I mean, I saw the curse mark of death thing from Rogier. Um. Do I need to speak with Blythe more? I'm Maybe. Sure. I'm coming down, where are you? I don't know, he's just outside the building. Okay, got him. Oh, he's fucking doing that thing. <laughs> Whenever uh, an Elden Ring invader starts beating me, I must assume they are hacking. <laughs> this guy has so much shit coming for him. Can you just fucking fat roll? Okay. Whoa! This guy's crazy. By crazy, I mean instant. What is that blood loss so buildup? Holy shit. Yeah, that was fucking. Like, it go real quick after a while. I can't believe we've gotten invaded like twice in like three minutes. Yeah. Oh, he's he's doing magic parry on me. Wow. Oh, uh, what a. bad. What a funny boy. I'm gonna hit him with the jump attacks just to make sure he can't parry me. Oh wow, and he's using an Ash of War that makes him uh, not take any damage. Hmm. What is up with this guy? <laughs> using like a really Annoying kind of. Buddy. Hey! What a guy. He just nearly killed me, then returned to his world. Did he use the finger severing blade, or did he just disappear? He just disappeared. Well, I think he returned to his world on purpose, because he waved at me and said, hey, so... Oh. Weird. Yeah, how do you get Ronnie to talk to you? Do you have to do uh... the... Blythe? You have to beat the thing with Blythe first? In this video game... I don't... I think maybe... I don't normally know. I don't know. This first meeting... Uh, so, hidden treasure of Nakron. Releasing Rani Fleece Knight. Yeah, yeah. Do I have still still a No. Um... Well, we did beat the woman. Royal Knight Loretta. I want to beat most of the miscellaneous bosses After before After agreeing we... to help with Rajir and before meeting Rani, okay. Yeah, so she has a whinge at you. Now be gone. I wish to serve you. 
I did not get a wish to serve you as an option. Very well. There's nothing wrong with the well weight scheme. Okay, this yeah, there has to be some way to enter her so uh, ask to enter her service. That's not an option. I know, I'm trying to look for like how to I'm really confused. I want to do most of the miscellaneous bosses, but I don't even know where most of these are. Where's I'll the... talk to him again and then talk to her. You go talk to Regia, I think. Regia again? Okay. Yeah. Uh, where are the... where's the Crystallian duo? Um... a duo. I feel like that's... I think there's one of them in the... we did that one. Um... Always good to see you safe. So, what do you need? <sighs> it must be in the cave I somewhere. See. When Rani shed her flesh, she shed Wait, her I think it's in the special, you know, um... Not everyone would trust such a tale. Academy thing. She in her current form is nothing more than the living doll you profess. Oh. Then perhaps it's true after all. Hmm. Forgive the bluntness of the notion, but how would you like to become mm -hmm. one of Rani's vassals? Ah... Uh, only in order to get what we want, of course. The location of the body which bore the curse mark, which right now I haven't the faintest. And the best way to find out is for you to enter her service and take a poke around on the sly. I know you've got what it takes. Not only are you a superb fighter, but people want to trust you. I've seen it. Can you become Rani's vassal to advance our agenda? While in her service, you'll be able to take a poke around on the sly. And determined I realize that I'm asking you to put yourself in grave danger, but I know you've got what it takes. Quite possibly the Probably only one. really beyond that fact. year, isn't he? For real. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna go talk to Rami again. And she'll just be like, hey, do you wanna... <laughs> You want to be one of my vassals? Okay, dude. Sure. Whatever. It's really funny to me that she just seems to, like, hang out at the top of the tower for no fucking reason. Yeah, she's just sitting there. I mean, that is true of most Elden Ring NPCs, where they just kind of sit in one place. The most of the people have, like, a fancy place they live, here. though. She's just hanging out. That is all I will say. Sorry, what did you uh, say? I said most of them live in some kind of fancy place, though. She's kind of just sitting in one of those fucking boring ass towers. Yeah. Oh, is that so? I don't know who Tetsu Thou wouldst render me aid. Is that thy proposal? Affording thyself opportunity to grope about for the curse mark's location, no doubt. Um. <clears throat> what's your next well. plan? There's nothing wrong with a well laid scheme. What's On a gauge more, whether I have time if my to past and feed past wounds beckon to thee. Sorry, uh, Ron is talking. To see what they I can't, like, attempts. hear I'll allow you it. over her. She's talking now. Into my service, and good hunting to thee. What did you just say? Sorry. I was wondering what you're doing now, and if I have time to give her rat medicine. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is, in my service, a half-woven warrior by the name of Blythe. I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis, Preceptor in the sorcerous arts, also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them. What advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. It's 
funny to me that she's like a princess essentially, but she only has three people serving her. And then a random man shows up and she's like, you'll do too. <laughs> Again, I am Yiji, the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can and pray for your success. Mm -hmm. Long time, friend. Blythe. If you've forgotten, glad to have you in the service of Mistress Rani. Well, getting right to business. Mm. I'm still in Limgrave. Oh, the hush. eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the Mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. I see. You must be Rani's new hireling. Yes, yes, I've heard all about you. <laughs> this guy reeks of being an evil sorcerer. In the sorcerous arts. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you. But since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady... I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. Okay, buddy, whatever. I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani. If it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. But who am my I to stand against the wishes of my lady? Okay, bro. I I spoke to all the guys, Elden Ring. What do you want me to do? Do I have to speak to all of them more than once? Do I have to sit at the bonfire, maybe? Leading words of warning. I never imagined that an audience, let alone service to Lady Rani, was in your fate. I, for one, should have seen it, but I did not. Do forgive me, my fellow. Let us give all that we can of ourselves, together, for Lady Rani. I'm going below to the well and see if I can't. Don't keep me waiting. Don't keep you waiting. Is the wall lifted? Nope. What <laughs> else do I need to do, Elden Ring? I reside. Come and pay. Should. If it were up to but who? Okay. It says the same thing again. Do I need to speak to EG a third time then? What is this game? <laughs> hmm. Let us give all together. Okay, well, I spoke to all of them more than once. Really? That's all I need to do. Do I need to speak to Ronnie again? <laughs> what is this? to forewarn thee I shall soon enter my slumber and it will be some time before I wake this doll's body is not without its hindrances still I have high hopes for thee I look forward to the good news when I arise
I shall soon and it will be I have high look for all that. That should be all. I suppose I just needed to hear her say, I'm gonna take a nap, and then the game lets me leave. Well, well, you took me at my word. Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh, you provincials never cease to amaze. Uh, I suppose you're here now. Perhaps I'll give you something to do. I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Even you can do that much, can't you? Good, good. Now I shall hand over the potion in question. Hello. Hello. The and ensure she he still loves his task. It's so gross. I expect yeah. tidings, and soon. I just hate talking to him. <laughs> yeah. Man, I want to have a fucked up house like this. What, the tower? Yeah. Oh, like cool, a, I Like know. a house with a big, um, like, arched roof, you know? Oh, yeah. Would you die to? Fall damage. <laughs> true enemy. There's an exception. You know how in Dark Souls would be a ledge that you have to slightly fall off, or else it'll, uh, if you, it'll, you know, a little bit more and you fall off the whole like it's um you'll overshoot it yeah yeah basically that okay now i give gideon the potion he's gonna be like oh this is an instant death potion uh, you what is it Is that portion what I think it is? Bloody Celibus. I suppose he's up to something again. Oh, I won't interfere. You go ahead and do what you must. The round table has no code to speak of. But I ask you this. Are you really going to do the bidding of that twisted dolly botherer? Or would you rather hand that potion to me and see if we can't get one over on the bastard? Good. I'll dispose of the potion myself. You go and see Salamis, but don't give anything away. Just tell him that you tricked your mark into drinking the potion, as planned. Despite knowing next to bloody nothing, he's so far up his own ass he won't suspect a thing. <laughs> his inevitable display of arrogance will certainly be a sight to behold. Huh? Very Gideon's just really funny anyway. He's so far up his ass, he won't be able to tell the difference, fucking idiot. And Gideon himself would know nothing of being, uh, full of himself, <laughs> of course. Oh, he would never. I've always thought that going to Europe and getting to be in an actual camp, 
Chainsaw and Castle would be really cool. Yeah. I'd rather go to Scotland or like Germany there. I mean, I wasn't thinking the two options were Scotland or Germany. Yeah, but that's the most, that's like, the most places I know that actually still have castles. Well, the English ones are bought by millionaires. Yeah. Maybe not all of them, but... I was imagining maybe France. Oh. Yeah, but they're French. They have a man of class. That's scary. French people write me, personally. Where's the thing that it's Selvis' office? Do you know? <laughs> Sorry, I was laughing at the uh, the line you were just telling me about the <laughs> uh, display of arrogance will be so thingy, yeah. Yeah. Not that, <laughs> not that Gideon would know anything about that. Yeah. So what were you saying? Trying to find Selvis' office. Office? Oh, like, like he's a creepy dungeon. Place. Yeah. yeah. It's in the ruins next to Ronnie's Rise. Next to Ronnie's Rise? Okay. Yeah. I was doing the ones near Selvis' Rise. Yeah, that would make sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> Unfortunately, this is a FromSoft quest. Legally not allowed to make sense. Like, even knowing that this is supposed to be somewhere around here, I still can't find it. What are you uh, checking his office for? I need to buy two puppets from him for the uh, thing to work. Uh, in order to do that, I'm oh, guessing you need to, he, he needs to know that you know. Yeah, need to do the. Is it raining or is my computer just going really fast? <laughs> Excellent question. Oh, there's a Let Me Solo one. Solo her one in here. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm just gonna walk back to him and be like, what's up with all those puppets, buddy? So weird. Yeah. This is the kind of thing where I would never in a million years figure it out without the uh, guide thing to tell me. Yeah, especially snitching and giving the potion to, uh... <laughs> Gorble Stang. Gideon. Gideon. Yeah, ah, there's so never a thought to actually do that the the To, like, actually well give done. someone to someone when they're you not supposed to know something. Yeah. It never works that well, well, usually. Then you shall have your gift. Knowledge of the sorceress arts and of the tutelage of the great preceptor Selvis. I doubt much of it will lay within the grasp of a mere tarnished, but... If you put your mind to it, perhaps you won't embarrass our lady. You wish to begin right this moment? Well, your impatience, though boorish, is understandable. Alright, so you get one puppet from him, what then? You break into a man's private chambers, rooting about as you please. Your oafishness knows no bounds. Fine and well. You tricked Nefeli and had her drink the potion. I believe that makes you my accomplice. You yearn for a puppet of your own. 
Well, normally one of your stature would never be allowed. But perhaps I can make a very special exception. Now, choose. Yeah, I got one from him. Yeah. How would you go after that? Um. It says my thing says to get two from him, but I can't. Yeah, neither can I. Bart, even when you're sick, your voice is still so beautiful. <laughs> well, it hasn't taken me yet. It's on the cusp. On the cusp of what? Okay, so you need starlight shards? What? You have to reload the area. Oh. <laughs> this, this game's quests are so normal. Sorry, I'm just going to talk to the weird other man. Oh, Pidia. Pidia. Yeah, the piss man. Piss dude. 95. This boy and lava girl. Yeah. I prefer uh, Lava Shark and Girl Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Character I can get behind. Oh, Lava Shark you? or Girl Boy? I, uh, sorry, your worship. I feel like I want to be behind I the Lava Shark because I think being in front of a Lava Shark is a good idea. I yeah. am Pidia, servant to the Carrion Royal Family. I am really? charged oh, with me. Guess that doesn't count reloading the area. Gas. Oh, is there enough starlight shards? I don't. Mm, sorry. Stilly Billy fucking shoot me. Your worship, allow me to be of use. My eyes are so warm. Other than the puppets, there are some very fine things up here in this storeroom why not pick something out before you go but please can it's funny offer poor ill start pitya a little yeah. something by way of <laughs> compensation his mouth moves but it doesn't have anything to do with the words he's saying so they're just gonna say that's uh, 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 uh. uh, how i talk yeah uh, 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 uh. Yeah. I'm cured about this weathered map. It's only a mega 600 souls. Now to do the guessing game of where in the inventory this will be. Is it going to be in keys? Like the other maps? No. <laughs> Is it gonna be here? No. Wait, yeah it is. Pick streaks of amber light. What does this refer to, do you suppose? I think it's the map to where the amber starlight piece is. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what you use to make the Ronnie sleeping potion. Oh. Gross. Yeah. Why would you do that? What do you get from that? <laughs> um, you can make her die. I guess. Oh. Um. I don't know what the point of that is, to tell you the truth, but it's something you can do. I guess if you just want to do Celevis's thing, there might be a reward for it, but I don't think so. Be 
begging for another lesson so soon? Ugh, there remains much to be done. Make it quick. So, you had Nefeli drink the potion? I don't even know where I'm getting off that shot from. Hmm. Then perhaps something was amiss with it. It's concocted from the finest ingredients, but perhaps I should review the recipe. It is one of the... I never expected too but... much of her to <clears throat> begin with. Have a, have a draft. Did not work. The, uh... Buying... Sorry, the... Uh, thing I was supposed to do. Reloading the area to get another puppet didn't work. Oh, you have to have um, amber shards. Uh, not amber shards, like starlight shards. I think. Um, where do you get them? It's been really weird. Starlight shards. Yeah. Um, there's one. Uh, do you know the storm shack where? Oh, it's scary, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So that lady is sitting. Um, uh, there's like a, a raised area next to the ever jail. Stonehill over jail. On that cliffside, there'll be a big half present cup that you'll find one. Okay, gotcha. I'll I think there's go one it. in Loretta's um, boss room. Oh, yeah, there is one in Loretta's boss room. I'll get this one since I'm already in the area. And the last one I got from Caleb, so hopefully it's It's scary, though. Don't starlight shards like. Don't. Do they serve some kind of purpose? I imagine they do. Apparently. I think I gave all my starlight shards to Raiden, though. Uh. Yeah, I think that's also what happened. But I didn't pick up the one you mentioned, so I'm grabbing it now. Oh, I don't think there's one at this place. I swear there was. Oh, Jesus, my fucking sinus is... my face. Go away. I can't kill you before I've gotten what I needed from you. 25 liters of button. It looks like the potion doesn't work. Kill her? Yeah. Gotcha. I can't know, like, I don't know what it is, like, oh, I'm sorry, I tried to kill you, my bad, man. Mm. Begging for another lesson so soon? Ugh, there remains much to be done, make it quick. What's that? You want another puppet? Quite the keen paramour, aren't we? But I'm afraid each and every one is like a child to me. I can you know how there's some carrying fucking noblemen that are just like, invisible oh and they'll show up randomly? To be done? What did you say? Why don't you, you know the carrying uh, nobles that will just be like shots. hanging around and then they're like, they like fade in and out and start it, casting spells at you? Yeah. I just accidentally walked up on one of them and went, oh, <laughs> and then disappeared. You'll soon come to know once you possess a few. And once each is predilections are known to you, the better you will be able to love them. Oh yes, you have much to look forward to further down this road. Well, this one costs two Starlight Shards. Well, I guess I'm fortunate the one I picked first costs more Starlight Shards than Finger Maiden Theralina. So did you pick- did you take the Jarhead? Yeah. Oh. I assume they're just like summons. Yeah. How good are they? Do you know? I have no idea. I never used puppets in my life. 
I've, I've never used Spirit Summon, actually, but... Spirit Summon's are pretty good. There's a lot of things about this game that like feel like cool ambiance, like the Karia Manor or the Loretta Room having a whole bunch of chairs and a pool of water in it. Like, it makes me wonder about the... Uh... What were they doing with that like shit? The, like, the council? Like, was it traditional for the council to be gathered around a pool of water? Like, everybody yeah. Maybe it's gotta because, get wet. Um, no, think of it like a still water, it would make a mirror. Yeah. So you'd look upon the stars. Oh, true, true, true. Um, there's no starlight shards at the one in Loretta's boss room. Do you know where another one is? Um... You know where Mick, not Mick, Millicent is? Yeah. Yeah, there's one all the way up there. Uh, are there any ones in there now? Um, not that I know it, but there probably is, but I can't think of them. Um, yeah, there check. might be one on the others behind Carrying Manor. Oh, we just need to wait 1,000 years for, uh, the thing to load. Starlight Shards. The east side of the Lyernia, the lakes, south of the artist's shack overlooking the fog covered Academy Gate Town and Gate Town Bridge. After dark. It says south. Oh fuck. <laughs> no, since uh, everyone in the fan group chat's talking about getting illness because Victor woke up coughing, um, yeah. mum's got a positive COVID test, and uh, I mean Amber is sick. Oh, feeling the sore throat. Yeah. And then Amber's like, oh, Victor, we're coughing, Tom, you're gonna die. And I said, I am, uh, I cannot die, I'm invisible. Invisible. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the fever has took in his brain already. So sad to see the strong man go. <laughs> I cannot die, I'm invisible. <laughs> uh, I hope you don't get COVID, because that can have some... Lasting effects, I'm told. I'm vaccinated, and uh, I'll probably be fine. I've had it before, I'll be right. You know, it's funny, I don't think I've had COVID, or if I have, it's been uh, asymptomatic. Hmm. Well, well, you're vaccinated, aren't you? I am five times vaccinated, yep. Yeah, so if you've like had a cold within like the last few years, it could have just been that, and you wouldn't have known. I didn't. I when didn't I got COVID, the only reason I. Knew, uh, I was insane. When I got COVID the first time, the only time, like, I was already sick with, like, the common cold. Yeah. Which was bad. Well, that wasn't bad, but, you know, it was not great. And then I hung out with uh, Kayla, and then she had COVID. And I was like, ah, she's right. She's out of quarantine. And I got it afterwards. So I was sick, and then I got another disease on top of it. And the fucking COVID wasn't even that bad. <laughs> wow. I was very lucky to me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad you didn't get too many symptoms. And then after that, I would like, I have like the most minor thing going on in my body, and people would be like, Is it long COVID? I'm like, no, fuck it isn't. <laughs> like, leave me alone. That is one of the problems with small children, though, is that they tend to pick up diseases really easily and then just yeah. carry them around to everyone. I've got to tell where this one came from. What'd you say? 
I won't be able to tell where this virus came from if I've got something. Yeah. Maybe I just, I don't know if I am sick. We'll find out. The glands are kind of pointy, but... I mean, if you're congested and like... Really tired, you're probably sick. And there's lumps on my neck that are very tender to push on. <laughs> my teeth are falling out. Not yet. That mm. is one of the symptoms. Yeah. When I get si uh, sinus pressure, it pushes on my um, teeth and it feels horrible. I bet, yeah. I want to upgrade my pointy stick, but I have to get to the fucking Altus Plateau for that. You're proving to be quite the puppeteer. I've not had an apprentice for a very long time indeed. Begging for another letter. <laughs> Perhaps you'll be interested in a little scheme of mine. It will produce the finest of puppets, which I aspire to cherish with these very hands. A ploy to fool even Lady Rani. How does that sound? I knew I had you pegged. Why did he say I knew you had you pegged? Uh... I'd like you to procure <laughs> yeah, I know, I read that. shard that glistens with armor. With that, my special draft will gleam with nectar sweetness, and even a demigod would be slave to its charms. Procure it for me, the rather unique starlight shard that glistens with amber. With that, my special draft will gleam with nectar sweetness, and even a demigod would be slave to its charms. He just goes, get me Amber Starlight. Where? I don't know where, dude. Just get it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Go yeah. to Altus Plateau and eat a bum. Yeah, I'll go search Roger's corpse. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. You safe. Oh. So, what do you need? Maybe I should tell you. Lately, I feel I'm on the precipice of falling into a deep, fathomless slumber. And I have an inkling it could spell trouble for you somehow. So I just wanted to get the apology out of the way beforehand, since you're so scary and all. <laughs> Lately, I've been feeling like I'm gonna fucking die. Is that so, Roger? <laughs> That's crazy, oh my god. Is he dead? He had spikes growing out of his dick. He's moaning, that's how you know he's getting close to death. Oh. I feel so sickly. Oh, sickly. I had a thought, oh. Okay, he's still just going. Oh, oh, oh. I know you gotta reload a couple times, and then I'll be dead. No, he's still just moaning. Maybe you have to get to us, like finish a certain thing, or get the altus plateau. And all it says is, uh, pick up Roger's stuff. He should be dead after uh, becoming one of Ronnie's vassals. Do we have to travel? Maybe you have to pass time. This game makes no fucking sense. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he died after I passed time. Oh.
Okay, that's Roger's quest done. And by quest, I do mean him dying. Okay, do you want to fight the big dragon? Which one? Uh, Academy Glintstone Dragon. Oh, yeah. I'm at the bonfire near there. Temple Kwa. Temple Kwa, I'm at. Right? Yeah, I'm at. I don't know the fucking temple quad I'm at. I recently realized when we were playing Dark Souls 1 that the really creepy, like, heavy breathing noise you can hear in that game is just how the character breathes. Oh god, really? Yeah. It's also funny because they added an animation for your character blinking, but their face still does absolutely nothing else, so it's, like, really unnerving. Oh, man. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> And then also blinking. <laughs> Breathing really heavily, going like. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Let's hear it for the boys. Smack that dragon. I'm going to first have to come in the range so I can smack him more too. What? Okay, he just fucking one-shot you? I dodged! That's insane. I am not so confused by the damage as the fact that I dodged and then died. <laughs> Yeah. Like that that limp that hitbox has to linger for a while because like he was on the ground for like a full second before I died. Yeah. Can you put your sign back down, please? Yeah, it's done. That one is more so, like, sometimes when I get killed by an enemy in this game, I'm like, I dodged. And sometimes it's like, I clicked the dodge button at the wrong time, or maybe it didn't register or something, but that one is like, I literally dodged and then died. <laughs> yeah. All the buttons to do the things I Why did he just immediately start with the fire breath? Hates me. Hates everyone. Oh god. What? How did we get invaded by a bloody finger in a boss fight? I 
I have no idea. I think maybe it's a counts thing to work. These bosses are so horrible without the horse. The dragons, I mean. Yeah. I don't know how they went from Madeir to this. Yay, more dragons. We really just went, but this time, let's do a worse one. <laughs> Oh, hi, buddy. Buddy, we're in the middle of a boss fight. Have some common decency. Got him. How much- how did you do that much damage? He only had like 2 HP when he got here. Uh-oh. What was he doing? <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe he had like a... Red Tears Stone Ring? Kind of deal? Yeah. I, uh, that was really weird because I did the exact same dodge this time, but did not die. I mean, I'm glad I didn't die, it's just really weird to me that I died the first time. And that it did so much damage. In terms of, like, realistically how much damage getting stomped on by a dragon would do, it's like, yeah, that would kill you in real life, but we are playing a video game. Yeah, it's also the tr Ugh, it's the ability that cracks to you, so come on, I have some fairness. Oh, dragon. Why did my... my inputs are not happening. I clicked the thing for heavy attack. It did not occur. I don't know why, but I feel like dragons should be weak to hold it. It just... it's really weird to me that they had like a really good dragon boss in Deer and then they just stopped doing really good dragon bosses. Yep. Because I feel like... The progression from Palamid to Medir was pretty solid, like, in terms of learning. I don't think Sin is better than Calamite, but I think uh, has, like, some notes, basically, of, like, things that they want to do with their next good dragon boss. Oi! Fuck off! I literally can't do anything, because I can't move away from the fire quick enough, I have no fucking horse here. I found if you run to the side, you can do it, but it might just be if you're close to his head. Happens, the thing is, like, I was running away from his fire every single yeah. time. It just isn't enough time for me to move out the way, because I just yeah. don't move it. This is fucking sucks. I would say this boss is like less painful than not necessarily good on horse. <laughs> I don't really like how like necessary it is to do heavy attacks to break poise. Because for a boss like this where your like heavy attack opportunities are pretty sparse, it feels kinda of weird, you know? They shouldn't ever regenerate their poise There's a specific enemy that doesn't regenerate poise actually, it's for stallions. Yeah, I've hit exclusively headshots on this boss and never gotten the stagger. Incredible. <laughs> I did kill him, so I got that going for me. <laughs> yeah. I would say this boss is probably easier if you just stay at the head. Though not to the extent that, like, Medir is easier if you stay at the head. Not staying at the head with Medir is basically, like, just a tactical mistake. But with this guy, it's just, like, it's just easier. Okay, let's do... Ray Lucaria. Wait, actually, we're gonna end the stream here because it is time. <laughs> the bugs have gotten you. Because it has been an hour and a half and it's far past my bedtime. Alright, thank you for joining me today, Bard, and anybody who watches this in the future. I hope you had a good time watching. I hope you appreciated my incompetence. Uh, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye bye.